Hello guys, today I wanted to teach you how to play and work with uh, GenVision Animation Builder in Advanced Mode. Uh, it's a super, super good uh, app inside the Matrix 9 that helps you to make a very engineering and mechanical animation uh, for your customers. Uh, if you wanted to show uh, how, how uh, your locks for your bangle work, uh, works, uh, you can use this feature. You can show uh, how the parts moving in your object. You can use this animation. It's really great. So, and I'm sure that a lot of uh, jewelry designers, Matrix users, uh, don't know about it. So I try to clarify and explain to you today. And after that, I'm sure you can use this uh, feature. It's amazing. So for a start, I want to introduce. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the animation window uh, and uh, uh, t uh, tell you uh, w w uh, th these parts okay so the first part is the file that if you wanted to uh, have a new animation you can click on new so it can it says that this will res uh, reset all animation data in this model uh, are you sure yes and uh, in edit uh, the extra display mode is the most important part and uh, tells you uh, how many uh, display modes you want it to be saved? Okay, I want to have a, a rendered one, and uh, I don't want any shaded because it uh, wastes my time. Okay, so uh, the, the the record button uh, when when uh, all the all the uh, uh, how can I say when we set all the geometries all uh, the uh, the objects, the cameras, and when our job finish and uh, we are ready for making our animation, we need to click on record uh, and turn it on, and then we click on play, and we can have uh, our animation. Actually, it works like that. It, it starts taking the photo as a frame, okay? So when we choose 100 frames, we have uh, we have 100 photos and then uh, through Movie Maker, Jamvision Movie Maker, we can join them together and we can merge them and make a new video. Okay, so I, I will show you later on. Uh, in, in, in the properties type, we have image type. I want to use the viewport. Okay, I don't want to use the re render uh, photos because if I choose that, it will start rendering. Okay, it save the photos as a rendered photos. But now I don't want, I want to use my viewport. Um, viewport properties, uh, viewport I want to use perspective, so the, my this uh, viewport, and then the resolution I want to use 800 by 800, okay, and total frame is 100, okay, great. So, uh, in save, uh, I, we have uh, our uh, photos uh, name, so I wanted to use Momo, okay, as uh, my uh, photo name and save the folder okay uh, by default it's saved in a document uh, matrix uh, and animation folder uh, format jpeg and preview one and then the objects and the most important one okay so let's start it i click on object and ask me pick objects to animate i can say that hey i want to use this one so i, I will have a new window and uh, a new window on the top i can uh, I have move, rotate, scale copies. Okay, so I can start m m uh, moving, rotating, and scaling this object. Okay, so I go to move and then click and select the pass curve, enter, and set one. It means that the first, uh, the first uh, movement, I want to start from one to fifty, the end one fifty. Enable it, and I come and I return back to object, and then move it, and I see that ah, it's moving. Okay. Uh, I go to move again, and I said that ease type. I want to introduce the ease type to you, and in the ease type is the same as transition in movie making. Is a kind of uh, changing the uh, uh, changing the position, like rotation, moving but by default animate by uh, software okay it helps you to make a beautiful animation i want to choose we have a lot of options but i want to choose bounce out and come i will, i come back to object uh, tab again and i move it and you see that it's like bouncing on the object it's amazing i really like it 
Okay, so I go to rotation and I want to ask my I want to ask uh, it has rotation also. Okay, Z enable and I want a 180. Okay, frame 1 to 50. Okay, no ease type or no repeat. Okay, so as you can see, it's moving, it's, it's, uh, has a rotation also. Okay, very good. I can click and save and I save this option. Okay, and I go and I can go to preview and I see that this is the overall preview of uh, all my objects and all my animations. Okay, so I go to objects again, I select these and then again I have this window. I go to move, move pass, I select these, enable set one frame one to fifty. Okay, this type I can for this one I can say that um, I can choose elastic out. Let's see. So it's out. It's a little bit go out and then come back again. Okay, to its position. Okay, so move one fifty. Okay, great. And then uh, I I want the rotation rotation also. So it's one hundred eighty rotation frame one two fifty. Okay, and then set one enable. So when I move it, it has a rotation also. Very good. Or I can have rotation to one to one hundred. Okay, so it goes here and then still it has a rotation. Okay, very good. So I can save it. So it's done. And then let's go for sweep sweep options I go to geo sweep one select these select profile and then enter again I have a new window so I want to this sweep finish in frame start from frame one and finish frame 30 okay so I can go to I can see the preview okay but as you can see after the uh, 30 uh, frame 30s it's disappeared okay I want to keep it I go to option and then keep it main again so it is still I can have it after frame 30s okay great I can save it so let's see the overall animation so it's moving down bouncing the top part also rotation okay very good let's go to Go again, sweep one, this, this, click, and again, one to uh, one to one hundred become complete, and enable option, keep it main, and let's see, great, very good, and then save it. So let's see again, check it again. amazing but the problem is here so let's sweep one let's change it to 80 I want to see if it 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 it, it finished in uh, frame 80 so let's see save so that's perfect okay very good just a little just one problem is uh, this um, uh, my object is going down a little bit. This is um, this is not um, a big problem. I just need to um, move it a little bit here. Let's see, maybe oh, it's going down. It's it's a, it's a bug maybe, but that's fine. A little bit move up. A little bit down. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So now let's go for camera. I click on camera, new camera. So now I have my camera. So I need to make a circle or curve or anything that you want as your camera path. So I select it, I rebuild it. Okay, I go to camera, I select as a camera. 
And also I make one small circle as a target. I click it and as a target, click on target. And let's see, okay, preview. Okay, oh, I forgot to change the frame. One to 100, 100. Come back to preview. Okay, and I see that ah, I have this. Okay, but I wanted to change it to the top. Go to camera again and then click it and then come back to preview. And then look at it like this. Amazing, good, good, good. I F10, I move this a little bit down this part so it looks like the camera goes up and down. It's more better. Go to preview again. Okay, very good. A little bit up. Select camera and then click it. Preview again. Now it's too much up. Come go down. Camera. Click preview. Okay, I like it. I just need to go to lens, enable, uh, start from 1 and uh, 100. I can say that start from uh, 70 a little bit farther and then a little bit go inside 200 at the end. Okay, let's see how it's so. No, 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 it's too <laughs> much. So I can say that 50 maybe and uh, 100 or even maybe better I don't change it. Let's see. Ah, it's too much again. Lens 70, 20. lens maybe 30 it's closer good but I need to concentrate here better camera yeah or a little bit down camera target and then preview again so it's good. Save and then go to see the overall uh, our overall uh, chain. So it's moving from here and then goes here and then. Great. Okay. So I change it to render it. Okay. I don't want these. I don't want these. I can hide it, hide them, okay, and then I go this view and then record on and then 100 and then click. Okay, now it's finished and we have to uh, if I go to my uh, folder and render it one, as you can see, it makes some videos, some some things for me. You can see it just a moment. Oh, it's no, no, no. This one is video, not this one. Let's this one, right? Okay. Okay, can you see the photos? It's made already, okay? So, now I need to go to render again and choose a movie maker. Okay, and then add files. Go to animation. Uh, here, I want to choose the JPEG. I wanted to start from here. Select all and then open. Okay, very good. High quality, 
and we, it has some features I will I will teach you all in um, uh, next videos uh, and then we select all and then create and then save here Momo. okay finish and this is our video okay uh, I hope you like it. Thank you so much. Goodbye.